Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay, so Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. This card says Solutions. And strength with the five of pentacles and peace, four of cups, three of swords, the high priestess. All right, so something here is being balanced out. This this has everything to do with the transmutation of energy here that was sent to put you in some type of like um, poverty mindset or to have you feeling left out in the cold, rejected or abandoned. You have here peace. So you're letting go of something that made you feel rejected and or abandoned. This took a lot of strength and courage to do. Four of Cups. Some of you, this could be something even from like your, your past or your childhood, Three of Swords. That has been very hurtful or painful for you. And maybe you, this energy is finally being eclipsed out. And as a result, it's like you're, you're tapping into this inner peace because you have this deep inner knowing. The high priestess is here. Yeah, and the queen of cups. Ooh, new beginnings in the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups. Yeah, beautiful. This is, wow, major, major eclipse of energy so you go from the four of cups to the ten of cups queen of cups could be um cancer pisces scorpio especially with the high priestess here you don't have to be or you could be dealing with that i have leo and sagittarius out here aries energy wow some type of grief pain or suffering from your past is being removed. It's being eclipsed out. And it's coming from some type of spiritual awareness. This change in your, this is, this is self-awareness here. You having this deep inner knowing, all of these cards too, they're purple. Um, this, ha this has to do with like your crown chakra, your third eye maybe. Some of you could be working with like the stone, the amethyst stone. You definitely know something. You've discovered something. There is a secret that has been revealed or you just made peace with the situation. Maybe you didn't know the truth about something and you still may not know, but I feel like you just made peace with something being exactly as it is because at this point, you just want to move forward towards your happiness, your wish fulfillment. And that's exactly what you're going to do. This is major upgrade here from going from the four of cups, feeling like something was a missed opportunity. I feel like now you're beginning to go from seeing something as a missed opportunity to manifesting, like finding all these magical people and opportunities in your life. But three of swords, something, something broke your heart, but it fixed your vision for sure. You know the truth now about a person or a situation. It's just this awareness. This awareness brings a lot of confidence. Yeah, five of wands here. There was some type of drama for sure, but it has been balanced out. Yeah, hmm. I really wanna. I'm gonna clarify some of this with a different date in a moment. Yeah, there's. Peace resolution here. I said peace resolution. <laughs> Conflict resolution. <laughs> the sun. Oh my goodness. With the ten of cups. Queen of cups, the sun. Like life is about to be amazing for you. And the six of wands. June 19th could be significant for somebody.
Three of Swords. The King of Wands. And the Two of Wands, the Ten of Wands. I'm, I'm picking up so much information here. Not necessarily like maybe twin fighting couples, but just divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So you have like a queen of cups, a feminine energy here that's going from feeling like something was a missed opportunity to having this emotional fulfillment, like just this peaceful, harmonious state of being. You have a king of wands out here who is releasing the past. They're growing from some type of situation the King of Wands is here, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. This person is now choosing to release something that has been a burden to them. Yeah, the perspective there, this is the hangman, something that has caused delays. This is a mindset that has drastically shifted, and someone now is going towards, look, the Chariot going towards the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the Two of Cups. Somebody is, somebody is going towards like a partnership here. They are aligning themselves for a partnership, being very determined. And so this is a king of wands. So there could for sure be like a Sagittarius masculine. This person does things in moderation. I, I'll be honest. The Sagittarius is a fire sign. But when I see temperance energy, um... And of course, the person that they don't have to be a Sagittarius, but someone carries the energy of temperance, meaning this person can balance like their thoughts and their emotions. They understand transmutation. When I think of temperance energy, I also always think about like justice, like Libra scales. This is a person who feels like things should be fair. They should be just, they should be balanced. Um, but it's that, again, it's the transmutation of energy. Someone here has been able to turn something that was painful or some kind of suffering or burden into a, a big, a, like a, a blessing because they learned a lesson. Someone has finally learned a lesson here. And, and they're learning, someone's biggest lesson has been about them releasing the past. There's a strong masculine that has been holding on to the past. This could be anything, but I feel that it's a mirroring effect between divine feminine and divine masculine of them releasing the past. The four of cups out here, like divine feminine has possibly been dealing with the grief of missing out on an opportunity or losing out on a, a, an offer or an opportunity, whether it was with work, a friendship, a relationship, or whatever, just feeling like Almost like all was lost. They're finally healing from this. And starting to shift their thinking from being more pessimistic to optimistic. And then you have a masculine out here that has been still sort of stuck on the past. Maybe a mindset. And they're shifting. So the feminine is being free from an actual situation. The masculine is freeing themselves from a mindset, which is making way for this forward movement into this nine of cups, two of cups, ten of cups, the sun energy, and the six of wands. This is like job well done. Eight of wands, forward movement and travel. Yeah, someone here has quickly removed themselves from the Seven of Swords energy. This is also someone quickly moving into a period of planning. This Seven of Swords is not, um, and the Four of Swords being here as well with the Ten of Swords. Someone, this is like being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Someone is choosing now to quickly move with this, this awakening this awareness that they have now about a very painful situation. Yeah, this is healing. So somebody here like literally hit rock bottom. Seven of swords, ten of swords. Some type of betrayal, heartache, pain, mental conflict. Someone could be really struggling to sleep or 
Yeah, there's the deep healing that has taken place, though. And as this healing takes place, it's like someone is going to very, very quickly move into a brand new beginning. So, you know, we are, Mercury retrograde is ending in a, in a few days. There could still be the post shadow. You know, this, the nine of swords here. This is all mental. Eight of swords, my goodness. And the emperor. So I was right. The emperor here has been struggling with some type of mental conflict or chaos or this could be an emperor who also has anxiety. This person may not know that they really have anxiety. Um, I'm hearing somebody could even have like ADHD or there's been something going on with this person's thought processing. It's like how they process their thoughts and emotions. You have the Ace of Cups here. And someone is finally about to combat this issue. Like someone literally may be even going like, yeah, look at that, the tower. So someone, th this masculine, I'm focusing on them right now because this was coming out. This masculine has had a heartbreak or a situation from their past that has literally had them paralyzed by fear of opening their heart. This goes kind of together with the reading I just did. This person's heart chakra has been blocked. They haven't really felt comfortable with offering emotion. This person, maybe they're too, too like in their head. They're too logical. So this person is having some type of crown chakra activation or their third eye is opening. Heart. This person is just having a, a, a spiritual awakening, okay? Where everything is being cracked open. This person, yeah, the tower. It's like their, their life is about to change. If this person has been experiencing delays or procrastinating a lot, it's because of how they think. But there has been something plaguing their mind. I don't know if it's related to family. It could be related to finances. It could be a heartbreak or divorce or separation. It could be anything. But there is some type of traumatic experience that has had this person just blocked. But someone now, the Ace of Cups. There's a new emotional experience that's coming that's going to be life-changing. It could be a relationship. It could be the development of a gift. It could be a new home, a new car, a new job. But something is going to make this person happy. Yeah, the Three of Wands. That they, this person has been manifesting something that's going to make them very happy. If this is a relationship for some of you, like a divine feminine, you've been in a relationship with this masculine and they've been like very de detached or something like this person has been dealing with some type of heartbreak or mental conflict or chaos that may have had you feeling like this was a missed opportunity and maybe you should move forward. This doesn't really feel like a, a past energy. This feels like someone that you could be dealing with now, but there's been some type of separation. To be honest, somebody, this masculine could have been just very afraid of commitment. But it's a reason for that. Knight of Wands. This has to do with this feminine energy, though. This wand energy... Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, Knight of Wands. Someone is about to meet a Divine Feminine or they met a Divine Feminine and they didn't recognize the significance of the relationship. This person is, someone is, it's a part, two people, I'm assuming, who are being guided to one another in a way.
like the temperance card. There's like water and fire. Queen of Cups and King of Wands. This is our yin and yang energy. It's divine feminine, divine masculine. If it's not a connection, it's just you balancing your emotions and your actions. Like this self-control, you having patience, you giving yourself grace, mercy, whatever. Somebody now is about to take flight. They're going to take action though. To go towards like a brand new beginning. It doesn't have to be a relationship. This is just you finally opening yourself up to a new life. Like this could be your purpose. Like you're looking over the past. This Mercury retrograde has really allowed a person to go through a major spiritual awakening. And it they cleared the past out entirely, it feels. With divine guidance here, there's the Hierophant and the Magician. Someone now is manifesting their life. And they're fully in their purpose. So whatever mental blockages or chaos or conflict that had a person unable to see their purpose has been removed. It's a major mindset shift. Somebody finally knows like what they want to do for work. Everything. Yeah, six of one. I'm sorry, six of swords. This is letting go of all baggage and moving forward. If there's a feminine and a masculine out here connecting, someone is going to find themselves extremely surprised by the movement of this, this masculine. It, their mind is going to shift. I feel like if you're in a connection with somebody, you're literally going to be looking like, who is this person? Somebody went through like an extremely fast transformation. And so the nine of wands, three of wands, eight of wands is here with the high priestess and the wheel. This is, this is a very deep, Spiritual transformation that could be happening for, for a divine feminine and a masculine that either know each other or are coming together. But spiritually here, the divine feminine is now about to take action. They're applying their wisdom, finding the strength now to turn the, the page, turn the wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Oh, I just said the strength. <laughs> this divine feminine is finding the strength now to... Wait a minute. Let's get into this for the day. It keeps looking at me. You see here the Ten of Wands, the Tower, and the Magician. Everything is fine. So the divine feminine and the divine masculine are mirroring. Divine feminine is now finding the strength and the courage to allow a tower to happen. They're having a powerful revelation about something here. And they now are manifesting. But you have here, there's an illusion here. And the hermit, the ten of swords. This is, like I said, someone being sick and tired of being sick and tired. And they're finally pushing through some type of illusion here. You have here the hermit. So somebody has been in deep healing for a while now. And I feel like somebody now is about to share their truth or their testimony, the wisdom that they've gained from some type of dark energy or whatever in their life, like a karmic connection even. Somebody is finally free from some type of toxic codependent situation. This high priestess has gained a lot of wisdom from something. And they finally learned their strength, their worth, their value. They're ready now to go out and manifest the life that they want. They're planning. They're taking the next, the next step now. They're very, very optimistic about the future. And this energy is triggering this masculine. 
This feminine and, mas and, and masculine are both, they're triggering one another because they're mirroring each other. So because this feminine is now releasing things and they are becoming more optimistic and moving forward, it's going to force the masculine to let go of a mindset that they were in of remaining stuck and stagnant and not being open to emotions. You, these two people now, they have to both be at the frequency of love. Their purpose is to love and be loved. They're, they're finally getting on the same page, on the same frequency. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, what? And the world. There's a lot of really big financial opportunities coming. And what I'm seeing right now, I feel um, it's like spirit is kind of pulling me like feminine, masculine, divine feminine right now. The reason why the hermit is here and the hierophant, the moon, divine feminine is about to come out of hiding and find themselves in community. You have the queen of pentacles here with the ace of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the ace of wands, the queen of wands and the world. So you have a divine feminine out here who is about to start working on several projects with different people where they are going to be utilizing the wisdom and the knowledge that they gained from being in hermit mode from their spiritual journey. So someone here could be creating a platform, a project, a service or something where they're going to be sharing. It, it's something here about going from the hermit to the hierophant. Someone is going to start sharing, speaking out about the things that they learn from a time of being in some type of bondage. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This is definitely a change in someone's job. It's, it's because this person, they're finding their purpose. Someone is realizing that it is a part of their purpose to share their life story. And they're going to be offered some type of opportunity, a place, a space to do this. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about a passion. Someone is going to be inspired to, to honestly create like a business opportunity. Doing something that they love. This The world card is here. Everything is coming full circle. It's a completion. So, Divine Feminine has finally completed an entire karmic cycle that now is going to be used. Like, it's pain being turned into purpose. The same thing is occurring with this masculine. The same thing. Divine Feminine is coming out of hiding. They're going to start sharing their story. What is this divine masculine about to do? Because the divine masculine is they're both going through a spiritual awakening, but they have um the masculine, it feels more like they could be going through their spiritual awakening. You have for the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Wands. It just fell out with the Six of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess. Okay, masculine, what is this? The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands. The Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. This is a lot of feminine energy here. The Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Okay, divine masculine right now has made a decision to walk away 
from anything that doesn't serve them and they want to make an offer to this high priestess. This very, very wise individual. They want union. This is a spiritual union and it has to be reciprocal. But this divine masculine, so the three of swords is up there. You have this, the queen of wands, the queen of cups, and then the six of wands, six of pentacles. Divine masculine right now is being forced to purge their mindset of how they once were with other feminines. How you were with the queen of wands, the queen of cups, or anybody else, you can't be like that with the high priestess. So this person now has to recognize that in order to be with a divine feminine high priestess, you cannot take any of your past behaviors, trauma, drama, or anything else to a high priestess, especially if it is this high priestess that's about to be on their life purpose. Meaning, this person here who has not been able to match divine feminine because of their mindset of thinking that maybe they are supposed to be pursued or they don't have to put in the work, this person is about to have a very rude awakening and realize with this spiritual awakening that if you don't step up and go get this divine feminine, you will miss out on the biggest opportunity of your lifetime. You don't get a divine feminine high priestess several times in one lifetime. You, you, you don't get her or him just over and over. You don't. And somebody here needs to wake up because I feel like the type of energy that this divine feminine is in, this divine feminine is saying, I'll leave you. Absolutely. Divine feminine is saying, I will leave you. For some, this is a divine, you've already walked away from a masculine. And they're now having a wake up call that, oh, wow, I missed out. Like, I really missed out. But if you have a masculine in your life now, that is not fully in their masculine energy, like really pursuing, taking charge. They're about to realize, I don't care about the queen of cups, queen of wands who broke your heart in the past because of six of wands. This is a masculine who has typically gone for people based on sex appeal, what they look like, you know, who was willing to queen of cups, be very nurturing to them, maybe even passive, let them do what they want to do. That's who they have or, or people who it, it was honestly, it was based on their popularity, what they bring to the. You go to a divine feminine, divine feminine saying, what do you bring? Because this divine feminine has already gone through something so dark, so toxic, so heavy that they now are in their life purpose. Divine feminine said, I don't have to prove anything to you. So if this masculine has a mindset that because they've been hurt, because what's crowning them is the three of swords, they're looking for a divine feminine to prove something to them because maybe in the past, other people were willing to do that. Divine feminine is saying, no, I won't prove anything to you. I don't have to. Mm, divine feminine is fully aware of her worth. It said either you step up or you get step you or you step down. You get right or you get left. Divine feminine is fully in their power at this time. And they're taking action. I feel like divine feminine, who was once in this hermit energy, was not coming out. The hierophant is, is speaking before people. This person has remained the moon and the hierophant hidden in the background, in the dark, because they were still dealing with the devil with some type of mental anguish or conflict or grief. As this person finds this peace, this strength, they're going to start taking action, creating new beginnings, going out, manifesting things. Like I said, being in their purpose. Someone is, their purpose is not to be in the dark. So there's a masculine who maybe has been comfortable with a person being kind of hidden. It has allowed them to you know, still play around, not anymore. Both of these people are awakening, but it's more than one masculine energy I'm picking up on. There's a masculine that this feminine that was connected to, that kind of made them shut down and be in, in the dark like this. That person is recognizing that they lost out on a divine feminine. But there's also a masculine out here who is realizing that they have a divine feminine and they better tighten up real quick. Like they, somebody here is like, 
you better recognize when you're in the presence of a high priestess because a high priestess knows everything. You cannot fool, you cannot trick the high priestess like you can the queen of wands or the queen of cups. The high priestess is, is, is going to look into the depths of every situation. She knows everything hidden. So if you come to her with a, 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 a trick, she's going to know it. So this person who is trying to hide their feelings or whatever, they are, they're facing this awakening. They're like, oh, no, I can't do that. You can't have a closed heart chakra and be in any type of union with a high priestess. Their heart chakra has to be open in order for them to receive the insights and the downloads that they need. So a masculine that doesn't have an open heart is no match ever for a high priestess. That means that you're not operating even from a place of self-love. This is powerful. Somebody is about to realize, like, seriously, you, you better get it together. Look, the emperor, <laughs> the ace of, oh my goodness, the emperor, the ace of wands, ace of swords, and three of cups. This person now is about to have this spiritual awakening, this download, get the truth and clarity and realize, I better go over here and celebrate with this person because somebody here is moving on. This divine feminine is accepting their purpose and their purpose is to lead their, their ancestors to do something for the next generation. This divine feminine has a very big purpose and if this masculine doesn't go, come along and, and show up, it's, it's just a missed opportunity. Someone is choosing their purpose. And by choosing your purpose, especially if you have a purpose to be in a particular partnership, this is becoming aligned with your perfect partner. Any person that does not fully support your purpose, they have to get out of the way. This is the vibe that said, I don't care about your heartbreak anymore. I don't care about your limited thinking. I don't care about your mindset. I don't care what your mama, your daddy, sister, cousin, cousin, brother told you. If you don't want to go and do this work that I'm about to do, then you need to get out of my way. Because the vibe feminine is not in an energy right now to coddle any person. This is someone here with the queen of wands, queen of cups, this masculine. They, they're used to being coddled by people. They're used to people accepting them being closed-minded and with a closed heart. Divine Feminine is saying, no, you're going to have to open all your chakras to be able to experience the things that I'm doing. Because Divine Feminine has received their inheritance, they've already gotten this new con this soul contract. It's their soul contract. It's their birthright. They've gotten it. What they've been trying to manifest for so long, this path of them being chosen, leading others, they've gotten the download. And I feel like this masculine is receiving the download as well. That, oh, wow, this person is really in their purpose, Ace of Cups. This person also is falling in love with the feminine because of the fact that they're in their purpose. You become so much more attractive when you know just who you are. Who you are, who you are becoming, what you're doing. Your peace of mind will attract other people who have a peace of mind. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. No more investing in things that don't lead to legacy. You're done with that. Eight of Wands, you're going straight towards wish fulfillment happiness and you're working very, very hard to, to receive this. Divine Feminine and Masculine both right now, they're holding back from anything that brings conflict, chaos, or confusion. Because judgment has been called, it is now time for happiness. It is now time for family. It is time for purpose. So this Masculine here has to make a very swift decision to, to face their heartbreak head on. Because you... You can't go and disturb Divine Feminine and have them confused with any type of stress, fear, anxiety. There's too much to do. There's too much at stake here. 
with this new opportunity that's coming in. And I feel like Divine Feminine has absolute, they're opening their heart up, like I said, to the perfect partner. If you, if you don't support the mission, get out of the way. Five of Cups, yeah. Divine Feminine is like, no more, no more crying. No more being pessimistic. No more sadness. She has arrived <laughs> fully in her divine right and power. After fighting a very long battle, this is this is nine, three to nine years or maybe even more in the making. Divine Feminine is turning down offers. You dragging your feet, you can't come. Divine Feminine said, listen, I'll choose somebody else. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because confusion and illusions does nothing but delay Divine Feminine. She's putting an end to that and moving forward. May the best man win. Wow. Somebody is not playing at all. <laughs> Some, whoever this figment is, they are not playing. This is a fierce energy. Somebody's like, no. I will not wait. I will not make this easy for you. I'm not like your mama, your sister, your ex. None of that. You down for the cause, you down for the ride, for the mission, or not. This is like you will get ran over if you are not getting yourself in the proper formation. <laughs> See, this, this feminine is like, I'm talking very mighty and powerful. And this is an energy, it's so new, it's like a, whoa, what? It's shocking, like, whoa, who is this? You know, what? What type of energy is this coming? I don't think that this is an energy that anyone really has seen this person in because they've always been the moon, the hermit. Someone here has, has been in the dark healing from some very dark wounds of dealing with some type of mindset, insecurity, fear, karmic, toxic relationship. This person is now coming out saying, you know what? I got something to say. I have some wisdom to share. I've gained a lot of spiritual insight and awareness about some things, and I'm about to use this pain to turn it into my purpose. So now this person is aligning themselves again with partnership, purpose. A partner who cannot support this divine feminine, they have no chance. You can't love this person. You can't pour into them, help them to grow and evolve. You have no chance with this divine feminine. None. Solar places, chakra. Workshops and seminars. I'm telling you, it's a divine feminine out here that's about to do something major. It says it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. What did I say? Somebody here is like, you know what? I've been studying for a while, but now I'm about to go out and I'm about to teach. I'm about to preach. I'm about to put people. It's my purpose. I'm about to start showing people now who I am, who I was, who I've become. Somebody's coming out of the dark. And this may be very shocking and surprising to people who have known you to be the hermit. Even if you are currently dealing with somebody, they may be very comfortable with you being in this hermit energy. Things are going to shift when they start seeing you in this hierophant energy because the hierophant is going to say, if this isn't aligned anymore with my morals, my values, and coming from a, I don't think that you're coming from a place of integrity like me, then you got to go. Because somebody literally, I'm going to tell you what this is. Literally, someone's purpose is to share their life. That's what this is. Someone's purpose is to share their life. So if their partner does not reflect their, like their purpose is not in alignment with their purpose, they have to be completely removed. 
I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is about to open themselves up to like the world. So of course you're cleaning your life up. You can't have toxic connections. You're cleaning up things. You're, you're cleaning out the skeletons in your own closet. Ooh, this is something. I just said the word integrity. Indigo is here. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. This is what this is. Someone has discovered that they're like an indigo. Highly sensitive, but natural born. That's why this person stays hidden. This person is very sensitive, so they stay hidden. Now they're coming out though, because I know I'm a leader. I have to come out. Look, if you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Yeah, somebody is saying, I know I'm afraid. I know I'm highly sensitive, but my purpose is to share my life. My purpose is to be a leader. Somebody can no longer run away from their purpose as a leader. This is like a public speaker or something. Third eye chakra, crown chakra. Yeah, it's an awakening. Somebody has awakened to their purpose. Their purpose is like a spirit. Honestly, someone has a purpose as a spiritual leader. It says your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. Someone here has awakened fully to their purpose as a spiritual leader. Whether it's motivational speaking, writing books, whatever. And you're being encouraged now to visualize success. So somebody literally is leaving everything behind to pursue their purpose. Friends, family, lovers, everything. Everything has to go. Anything that makes this person feel chained to this outdated belief that they are safe with being in the back or being a follower, they're releasing themselves from it. If you don't, if you're not, even if as a partner, if you're not pushing this hermit out to be the hierophant, they can't be around you. Someone's energy is becoming very sensitive to anything that is stagnant because they're being pushed out. God is pushing somebody out. I'm pushing you out to share my word. I'm pushing you out to share, share my, my purpose, my, your purpose. Someone could be um, a, a prophet or a speaker or something. But this is like God is saying, you have to go out. You, I created you to be a leader. I created you to go out and speak about certain things. Why are you hiding? Why are you being quiet? Throat chakra. You're supposed to be speak throat chakra, heart chakra. You're supposed to be speaking about things that you love, or maybe you're supposed to be speaking about love, self-love, something like that. The love of God, the love of self, the love of people. You're supposed to be spreading love. Your voice is very important, but you have to have an open heart. And God now is, is making sure that if you have a partner, they have to be able to love you properly because you have to, I'm, I'm really seeing like a, a, this is major, whatever this is. Someone here is about to be put in an environment that is so uncomfortable for them that their partner has to be their safe space. If a person's partner, if you can't go home and feel safe with your partner when you're battling out in the world, what are you doing? So it's like this masculine now who may be very logical with all these swords. It's like either you open your heart or you got to get out of the way because this high priestess who perhaps is going to be working a lot with that sword energy, the mind and communication, they actually, they have to have love. They have to be comforted properly.
someone, their partnership has to offer emotional safety and security and stability in order for them to be at their prime in their purpose. I hope y'all are getting what I'm saying. Because this is really intense. This is somebody that's about to build an empire. And they're choosing their part. They're choosing the partner that's going to go into this empire with them. It's like, you know, like Queen Nefertiti, Nefertiti had her on a whole kingdom as a woman. This this is a this is a woman king. Like this this is a woman who is about to blow up. And she's looking for a partner that, that can love her the, the right way. I feel like this is someone they're letting go of everything that has blocked them from having love and peace. Social media, obsessed and spying. So like I said, you can have someone that has been obsessed or someone is watching you online, Divine Feminine. <laughs> someone is watching you. They have a crush on you. But see, Divine Feminine is saying, you can't just sit back and watch me. You have to actually pursue me. I'm not, I'm not looking for a crush. Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's that high priestess energy, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. Cosmic gift, material gift and blessings. Yeah, this is a cosmic gift. It's your purpose that's being granted to you. Healing, shadow work. I feel like somebody's going to be teaching people healing, shadow work, how to go within, how to love themselves unconditionally. You can be teaching people stuff about relaxation, meditation, developing their intuition, how to love themselves, how to feel safe. Look, somebody is meant to be like a love guru. <laughs> Like a relationship expert or someone that's into self-love or something like that. Even these cards, yeah, it says boundaries, speak up. There's not much coming out about this masculine. Someone here is falling in love with their purpose. 